Our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said that the fitna is in a state of sleep and the one who awakens the fitna is cursed. To be, uh, to be cursed is the worst thing that can happen. There could be nothing worse than becoming a cursed one. It is Shaitan who is the cursed one. Shaitan gibi olur. And uh, those who follow the Shaitan and become cursed ones themselves will be like Shaitan. Shaitan da en kötü mahlukatlardan. Shaitan is the worst of creatures. En kötü mahluk Shaitandır. The worst of all creatures is Shaitan. En yüksek mahluk da insan oğlu Peygamber Efendimiz sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem. And the highest of all creatures is the human being, is the real human being, our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him. So we need to be very careful to not imitate Shaitan, and in order to not imitate Shaitan, we need to stay away from fitna. We must avoid anything that may co cause conflict, discord, argue, that may cause fitna. The one who causes the fitna, he is cursed. And those who join that cursed one in his fitna will also be cursed. Those who follow the one who causes fitna will not have done a good thing. What they do is badness. And the badness they com cause is first and foremost against themselves. They are the ones who deserve to be cursed and there could be no, there, there could be nothing worse than becoming one who has been cursed. There could be no greater affliction than the affliction of being cursed. However, the doors of repentance and the doors of mercy of Allah Almighty are open. And those who cause fitna should ask Allah Almighty for forgiveness and if they repent, Allah, they will find Allah Almighty to be forgiving. And not only should they ask Allah Almighty for forgiveness, but they should also ask those for forgiveness whose rights they have violated, they should ask those for forgiveness whom they have oppressed, and there is no other way for their redemption. When there are great fitness around, it's a very dangerous situation because it affects many people. And in such a situation, it is very difficult for a person to ask all the all those people who he has who whom he has affected with this fitna, and it's very difficult for such a person to ask all those people for forgiveness and to be forgiven by them. Onun için fitneden, fitneye baktan, uzak durun. 
therefore we should never run the danger of being the ones who cause the fitna, but we should stay away far and keep distant from the fitna. We now live in the end of times. And our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, has described and foretold that in the end of times there will be many fitnas around. And these days we now undergo are as dark as the night and there is darkness prevailing and oppression. And where does this darkness and oppression stem from? It all comes from fitna. It is through fitna and oppression that darkness comes in. And it is fitna and oppression that will make your inner being become dark. They may, they will make you feel bad, and they will do all kinds of things so that your interior deteriorates. And they will make a fitna out of useless things. And they will make a fitna of something which has no value at all. And they don't even know what they will be gaining out of it from this fitna they are causing. There's nothing to ever be gained from a fitna. The only winner who is going to profit from a fitna is a shaitan. Shaitan çünkü insanlar ne kadar eziyet verirse, ne kadar e, yoldan çıkarıp cehenneme götürürse o kadar mutlu olur, o kadar sevinmiş olur. Because all that shaitan is after is to make people go astray, to make them deviate from Allah Almighty's way. And the more he succeeds in making people go astray, the more hap- the happier he will become. Say, şeytan dediğimiz gibi insanın tersine, insan... Shaitan wants all the badness for people. A person, a true human being who is a who is a beacon of humanity, will be happy when he guides people towards the right way. However, Shaitan will be happy when he makes people go astray from the right way. Shaitan will be after you and he will do all his best to make you fail in this world and to make you fail in the hereafter. Therefore, we need to be very careful, especially in these days, as we now live in the end of times. Do not be the cause of fitna. And do not interfere with fitna. Stay far away from it. Follow the advice of Sayyidina Ali. May Allah Almighty be pleased with him. And he said the following. He said, now is the time to remain silent. Stay quiet and remain silent because even if you just utter one or two words it will affect you. Just stay at home. There is no need to participate in large gatherings of people. Allah muhafaz etsin. May Allah Almighty protect us. Allah korusun ümmeti fitneden. May Allah Almighty preserve and guard the ummah from fitna. Fitnecilerden inşallah. And may Allah Almighty protect and guard us from those who cause fitna. Amin Allah tawfiq al-Fatiha.